Hi, welcome to Kids Times, friends. I'm so glad you joined us. What an exciting time we're having here. We're live from my house, and I just have this gut feeling that it's gonna rain. I know, inside my house. Look, it's sunny outside, but inside, I don't know. It just feels like it's going to rain. It's humid, and I'm hot, and oh, I feel like a rainstorm's coming. I don't know. Maybe Kristen and Laura should build a boat because you know what happens after a really big rainstorm, don't you? I know, a big flood. Let's go see what they're up to. Oh dear, where are they? Hello. There they are. Hi girls. Hi. Do you feel like it's going to rain? Yes. yes. Do you trust me? Do you, do you trust my gut? Yeah. Well then, I think that you better build a boat. Can you build us a boat, please? Yes. Uh, this is not gonna work. Let's get in. And get all the animals. What a great what a great boat you have, girls. I love it. Much better than that cardboard you were using. Yes, yes. Come on, animals. Awesome job. You guys are in the boat, and you guys are safe. Oh, and I, I think I hear it starting to sprinkle. Do you hear that water? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I think the rainstorm might be coming. <laughs> well, that wasn't quite the rainstorm that I thought it was going to be. We thought we thought it was going to be bigger. You did? I thought it was going to be bigger too. Was there a flood? No. no. Oh, did you trust me anyway? Yes. yes. Aren't you glad we were prepared? Yes. Oh, me too. Hi friends. Man, wow, wasn't that fun? Can you imagine that if it really rained inside your house? That would be so silly. Today we're talking about a new piece in our armor of God. I wonder if you can guess what it is. We'll take a look here. Did that story remind you of anybody, girls? Yeah, it reminds me of Noah and how he got on all his animals on the ark. That's right! Noah and the ark. And that comes from Genesis chapter 6, verse 11 through 14. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight, and it was full of violence. God saw how corrupt the earth had become, for all the people on earth had corrupt in their ways. That means they were evil, friends. So God said to Noah, I'm going to put an end to all the people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I'm surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourself an ark of cypress wood, make rooms in it, and coat it with pitch inside and out. So Noah took his time, built the ark, put the animals on it, and put his family on it. And then the flood came, friends. And we all know how that story ends, right? The rainbow and the dove. And did God make his promise to us? Yes. Never to hurt the earth again? Yes. That's right. And now, how do you think that God, or that Noah, trusted God? Um, he trusted God because he had faith. Oh, wow. What a great answer. What do you think, Kristen? Yeah, because he has faith in himself. That is right. And it tells us right here in our true word in the Bible exactly that. If you turn to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7, it says, By faith, Noah, who warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he condemned the world 
to become heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. Girls, do you have faith? Yes. 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 Who do you have faith in? God and um, Jesus. That's right. And where do you get this faith from? Um, from, from up above. That's right. From up above. And who protects that faith? Um, Jesus and God. That's right. Do you pray to Jesus? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, and he protects you. And the Holy Spirit lives in you. That's right. Remember, friends, we're working in the book of Ephesians right now. And in chapter 6, verse 10 through 12, we're putting on our armor of God. And today, if you looked at your armor of God sheet, you would remember that we're talking about faith. Which one of these has faith in it? Shield of the faith. Shield of faith. The shield of faith. That's right. Friends, put up your hand like a stop sign. Stop. What does that kind of look like? A shield. A shield. A shield. That's right. Has your faith ever been tested? No. Which someone says, Jesus isn't real. Has that ever happened to you? No. No? I just have faith. I just have faith in myself to believe that they have. They think it is real, but they actually don't. Okay. And has your faith, have you ever doubted your faith? No. Well, that's good. You have strong faith. But if you ever come across someone at school or outside of school, like if you're um, out on a vacation or you're in a group of friends that's not your church friends, and someone says something to you about your faith, what are you think, going to think about? You're going to think about your Shield of faith. That's right. And it's going to help you put on your armor of God and be strong so you can share the word of Jesus and share the love of Jesus that you have. And maybe that will help that person grow to know and love Jesus just as you do, friends. Now, back to our rain and our flood. We get monsoons here, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, if you heard on the news or if I came home and said a monsoon's coming, would you believe me? Yes. Would you trust me? Yes. Yeah, because you know that it's going to happen. Yeah. Right? So, that's true. So, but if something like this huge flood where you had to build the ark wasn't true, would you believe me? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. What if God told it to you? What if you were praying one night and God told it to you? Would you have faith then? Maybe. Maybe. I just said God would tell it to you. Yeah. Of course you would have faith because faith comes from God. Okay, friends, remember to put on your shield, shield of faith. faith. Okay, let's pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. We lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For I am the kingdom, and in the power, and in the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Bye! Bye! Thanks for joining us! Bye! Hope we see you soon!